For the first time since their daughter passed away from a rare form of brain cancer, the parents of Aubrey Nicholas are speaking to News 5 about what's next for Aubrey's Army. Good evening, everyone. I'm Devin Walsh. And I'm Roseanne Haven. In tonight for Peter Albrecht. Today, News 5's Katerina Lukatic sat down with the Nicholas family. They want to thank the, the community for all you did. It's been a little over a month since Aubrey Nicholas passed away after a battle with a rare brain cancer. Her journey captivated our community. Thousands of you followed her story. She wasn't fighting alone. She had an army standing behind her. Today we sat down with Jay and Brooke Nicholas who want to thank everyone for the support. They described the last year as one that went by fast but was so incredibly difficult. They say they couldn't have gotten through it without the community. We, we saw help from everybody and people even the ones that couldn't were so willing. They're like, man, if I can do anything, you know, if we can do anything, uh, we'd love it. Come, people would come by, cut grass or something. I mean, we just, you just didn't, you can't imagine, you know, what people were doing. And it was, it was very touching. Very humbling. As for what's next for Aubrey's Army, Brooke and Jay plan on starting a foundation in Aubrey's name to fund research to help find treatment and a cure for DIPG. While Aubrey's story was well known, she hasn't been the only child diagnosed with a rare brain tumor along the Gulf Coast. On Monday night, we'll have a special report on DIPG where we talk with a doctor from the National Cancer Institute about what's being done to stop this disease from taking the lives of more children. That's Monday night at 10 o'clock. For WKRG News 5, I'm Katarina Lukatic.